Good afternoon, Joel. This car is all yours with no one up front. Alright, here we go. Heading to bottom, right fully driverless. Please make Ooh. sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the help button to speak with a rider support agent. Yep, blinker speaker is still turned way down. Very nice. Whoever cleaned this screen didn't do a really good job, gonna be honest. <laughs> it's edging forward. Little bit at a time. I don't think it used to do that. It might have. Nice. I'm pretty comfortable with how uh, aggressive it is right now. It's not really that aggressive. Um, but as long as they... Because every time they announce something, they know that it's safe. So if they say that it's safe, then I trust them. So that, that would make me... Uh, that would make me pretty happy, probably. Yeah. Maybe I'll try that uh, that lane merge again, see what we get in a couple of months. This is rattling. I'm gonna put it back where it's supposed to go. There you go. Good gracious. <laughs> No music? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if there's not me or a safety driver in the in the front seat, then yeah, I'd probably say stick to the safe side. Here we go. Yeah, you can't even hear the blinkers anymore. It's still signaling. You can see it right here. But yeah, they turned off the turned off the blinkers. No, they didn't turn it. It's just barely audible, like barely, barely still there. Maybe that's required by law, I don't know. So here's our, what our map is going to look like today. So we're going from the very tippy top to the very bottom right corner of the fully self-driving service area and uh, it looks like the pin is a little bit off that's interesting well we'll figure it out
Oops. Focus. There we go. Yeah, hopefully they come to Alabama soon. Or just like anywhere else, honestly. I I heard that the, the next spot they're planning on going is probably Los Angeles for the time being. But yeah, we'll see. Their their favorite word is gradually. Gradually. Always love that word. Drives me a little bit crazy, but honestly if they're if they're being safe about it, then you know. I'm fine. Right, that's a little better without the yeah school zone entering slow zone yeah. oh, a little bit of a map error right here there we go it's loaded back in I've seen that a couple of times where it left slightly see if we can spot the uh, technical support, like roadside assistance team. <coughs> oh! I, oh yeah, I forgot to turn that back on. So the uh, accessibility settings in the car, uh, where it'll say if it's like turning right. Okay, so we're, I guess I can describe it too. So yeah, we are turning right here onto a, a residential road. Um, car right there. Nice little curve, 25 mile per hour zone, and as always, it's going exactly 25 and no more. So stop sign covered up by the tree a little bit there. Still shows on the screen. There we go. Then you know, of course, the stop sign is pre-mapped, but it also recognizes um, uh, stop signs from uh, crossing guards and that sort of thing. Where you can, if you go watch my bonus clips video, the, yeah, there's an example of a school zone uh, crossing guard in that. So here we are going around some parked cars. Here comes an unprotected left turn. It's not going to be too crazy, but... A little bit closer on the map screen. Me too, me too, honestly, but yeah, well, we'll get there. And uh, they, by the way, they did just open it up to anyone, so literally anyone can download the app, uh, sign up, and then just like go for it. You'll be approved instantly, and then once you, it'll say you can take a ride as soon as you're in the area. So I've had a lot of people fly or drive down here just to ride with me, and now that they opened it up, that people probably won't be doing that anymore. I am, since I have taken, like, this is my, like, 85th ride now, um, <clears throat> I think I'm, uh, I'm more familiar with the area, so I could, I could point out cool spots to go in Waymo, like, oh, here's, in this spot, you can force it to three-point turn, or you can force it to go past the construction zone or cones or that sort of thing, so I'd be kind of a cool tour guide, I guess, um, <laughs> But yeah, now it's open to anyone, so if you like if you like Waymo videos, there's about to be a whole lot more of them than I've already seen. So I'm that's what I have to do is I have to up my game now. I have to figure out weird situations. I have to I, I have to keep my content compelling. <laughs> Cause now I have competition. It was it was an easy market, not anymore. Okay, so there's another Waymo over there. Uh yeah, unprotected left. Hi, Abby. <laughs> I 
Um, so the, so you mean like the service area, right? The, um, it's a, it's a decent size. Um, so every, every box here you see is a square mile exactly. So like 1.3 kilometers, I think, or 1.6, I don't remember exactly. Uh, but, so it's a pretty decent size to drive from the top to the bottom is like a 35 minute drive. So it's, you know, it's not like super convenient for me. Oh, you got a slight slow down there. Uh, it's not super convenient for me. I just do it for the videos and for because it's fun, you know, uh, because m my house isn't covered by the service area. So, um, oh yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, what does Waymo think about my videos? Um, I, they haven't said anything to me, honestly, other than, like, the first video, they, they, uh, they quote tweeted it on, on Twitter, and they said, oh, we're glad you enjoyed the ride, you know, that sort of deal. Um, I've heard from, like, engineers at the company that they, they watch my videos, you know, because <laughs> I, I was on a, uh, I was riding with some guests, and one of their friends was a, uh, Waymo engineer, they they FaceTimed them. They were on a FaceTime call. And so they're they're like, Hey friends, look where we are right now and they showed the front of the Waymo and they're like and the Waymo engineers were saying like, Hey, how did you get in the car? And, and they're like, Oh, we re reached out to Joel here and uh <laughs> and they're like, Oh Joel, we know Joel, we watch your videos and I was like, Oh gosh <laughs> so, oh, oh no. Yeah, but um I think they like them. I don't wanna push too hard uh i don't want to make it i don't want to force it to deal with too much weird stuff but uh so i'm afraid they might kick me out but so far they haven't said anything they haven't they haven't said no stop making videos or anything so i think i'm all right uh pop-up stands uh, yeah, uh, I think they, if something pops up, like a construction zone or anything, that'll, it'll send it back to home base and say, uh, like, oh, hey, there's a construction zone right here, or there's an obstruction, and then it'll, and then all the cars will know about it very quickly. Uh, so I, I think they do that, yeah. Uh, I, I would... If they asked me not to, I probably wouldn't, just so I could keep publishing videos. Maybe a, but so far they haven't, thankfully. And then, or if like there is a serious crash, or something, I I would really want to post that, because it would be like valuable for information, like how it handled the crash and what the response procedure is like. But yeah, I don't I don't know. So far they haven't said anything and uh, of course like they they haven't I guess uh well like they they're watching my videos for the first time right alongside everyone else so uh, like if you're fast enough and you watch the video and then they want me to take it down you would have still seen it right because I don't tell them what what's going to be in my video before I before I publish it I mean obviously they could probably figure out and like oh yeah Oh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess not. Yeah, I, I, I would want to be polite and respectful, but also still, you know, so. Um, since you guys watching the live stream are probably more interested, there's a, if you want to watch, there's a video in, there's a video coming in two days that has the a uh, safety driver disengagement in the rain and it's sitting in my JJ Ricks Rides with Waymo playlist on my channel. Two days to publish. Just sitting there waiting for people. <laughs> so if you if you guys don't care about I'm I'm trying to release them once every three days just so I don't spam people. Uh but if you guys are interested in that, that is there. So go check that out after this probably. Uh how many driverless uh are driving right now? Uh they haven't said exactly uh, I have ridden in, see, that, that wasn't a chase car, uh, I've ridden in 15 unique cars, driverless cars, or with 15 unique license plates, uh, so that might be, 
and I've taken like 50, 60 something driverless rides, so that's probably, okay. There's a Waymo van, there's a Waymo van, and here's a Waymo van. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll try my best to publish everything. Yeah. Oh, hi, Nelson. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I made a, I made a public list of spreadsheet or I made a public list of rides in a spreadsheet and Nelson added their rides to my spreadsheet so if you guys want to see all my rides in a spreadsheet with data and statistics and stuff you can go check that out uh, I think I posted it on reddit yeah. yeah this horribly clean screen is messing up my autofocus yeah whatever you can do yeah, in your in your uh, public rides. Okay. I'm trying to figure out if that one has a safety driver or not. It probably does. Uh, I I I'm thinking they might go to California, little bits of Los Angeles next year, but it's all secret. And yeah, well, I mean, I guess it's technically beta, if you want to call it that. But uh, oh yeah, for those wondering. That Waymo vehicle up there. Whoops, I'm having issues here. Um, so you mean like, like with the rain videos, possibly? Uh, trying to figure it out. Compile everything that happened last week or month. Oh, yeah, a little bit higher? Okay, so, yeah, I could do that, because the tripod has multiple heights, and, you know, whatnot. I, guess I, I Technically, I can set it to whatever I want, but if I set it too high, then it looks like this. And if I go too low, then it looks like this. So, like, I tend to set it right here-ish. So, it's just the bottom of the steering wheel here, and then the top of the mirror. The trouble is, they just added that screen there. So, now it's an even less good uh, field of view. But uh, yeah, it's kind of tricky. What I want to do is put a camera like on that window right there. Uh, I have 360 video cameras. I might invest in one so that I would put it like right here on the floor maybe and then you could just go all the way around and I would, I would love to do that. Man, my focus is having a bad day. Oh yeah, I would be looking at the, the GoPro Fusion, or the GoPro, uh, I forgot what the new one is. But the Fusion is like the first generation, and then the... Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, honestly, any good 360 camera I'd probably go with. By the way, I've never really showed it, but oh yeah, I, that that's <laughs> that that's the tricky thing, right? Is the is like sponsorships and stuff. Is like I, I mean, I'm making my videos in this car, and in the in the terms of service, it says you're not allowed to sell rides or anything. And so, like, if I start charging people for sh stuff or like like start shilling other companies and <laughs> so I'm like, I want to be careful. Oh, emergency vehicle, I hear it. Where is it? Oh. Okay, yielding to emergency vehicle. The lights just turned on in the car. So I can't even see. All right, this is a perfect opportunity. So ambulance, watch right here. That car has a red outline around it. Lights turned off, doors locked again. There you go, nice and smooth. <laughs> you love to see it. So um, I'm I uh, I don't know how far away it saw that because it, it did that pretty early. I couldn't even see the ambulance. And there's three microphones on top of the vehicle back there, and then three in the back right there. Uh, uh, you will see that uh, in a video coming in two days, or if you want to watch it right now, it's in the it's in the playlist on my channel. There's a it's, uh, of uh, rainy conditions. 
Uh, I think it was fine, but I didn't get enough time to ride in raining conditions before it disengaged. So, and then the safety driver took over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, it's kind of a secret. It's an open secret. I, I upload the videos like way before I publish them, so I get maybe six views. Uh, <laughs> there's another one. That had a safety driver in it. Six views before I publish, because like a couple people are, a couple people figure it out. But for the people who want who watch the live streams, I want to tell you guys about it, because it seems like you'd care the most about it. So as you can see, I've set my destination to bottom right, fully driverless, which, you know, obviously is not the name of a business or something. Oh my gosh, focus. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, you can set favorites, like little, uh, like spots on the map, and then you can name it whatever you want. So I, I set mine to bottom right, fully driverless, and it'll, it'll say it out loud too, like, arriving shortly at bottom right, fully driverless. Just make sure to take all your belongings, you know, that, that sort of thing. The, the only thing I might like gripe with the favorite locations is the, uh, yeah, that's the three-point turn place. Yeah, exactly. The, uh, my, yeah, my only gripe is that you can't set it, uh, precisely. So you can't go, I want to go exactly here, or exactly right there. You, you can only just type in the place name, and then it'll go there. And sometimes there's a value in, in doing that. Uh, but yeah, oh well. I see some police cars up there. Oh, wait, what did it just see? Okay, there was another... Wait, what? Okay, it's marking these cars that are passing by as emergency vehicles, which is very odd. There's another Waymo. Uh... Okay, fire truck up there. Hi, Benjamin. How you doing? So, yeah, fire truck. Uh... We're still gonna go through the green light, okay. Fire truck, that is marked as an emergency vehicle. Two of them, actually. Yep. Wow, we are really lucky on the emergency vehicles today. Cool, cool. Also, I'm, I'm going to record a podcast with some people from Princeton today, so uh, keep an eye out for that. I'll probably post it in a community post. Oh yeah, these are the Pacifica e-hybrids. Uh, a, a former safety driver tells me that they never actually charge them though, so which is kind of hilarious. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can see that, well you can't really see, but the battery percentage up there is 0%. So. Uh, Let's see, if this was like a normal taxi, how would I rate it? Uh, I'd say everything about this is really smooth. I've I've only taken a lift one time, and in that ride, the, 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 the lift driver got a red light ticket, it smelled like smoke in their car, and they were blasting hip hop really loud. And so I really like this because none of that stuff happens in this car. <laughs> but uh, uh, let's see, spinning lighter. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the AC here just so you can listen. It's essentially silent, honestly. Like, all the sounds that you hear in my videos are either the AC or that sort of thing. Um, what happens if the car gets to an intersection with all the stoplights? Oh yeah, that's um, that would be a four-way stop. Uh, if you watch in, there's a, I made a community post about Oh yeah, driver's seat belt unbuckled is what it says right there. And then it'll go back to battery voltage. Oh yeah, I made a community post where I uh, somebody else I rode with published a video about it and in that post there was the flashing red light uh, stoplights and the person was standing in the in the middle directing traffic. And so that you got, you got to see how it handled that. Uh, how does the music system work? Uh, right now, 
it does not. Uh, it used to work with Google Play Music, and I was not a paying subscriber of Google Play Music, so the only thing you would get is stations, like, like, decades, like, 60s and 70s, and, uh, hip-hop, and my, my favorite station was Oldies Out Loud, because it used to play Motown, it plays a lot of Motown, but, uh, no more of that. They shut that down in October, I think, late October, and so now it's just been sitting like this forever. I hope they, I hope it has Spotify support once it comes back. Uh, and I guess the, the fun thing about the music system being disabled is that you can't adjust the volume in the car anymore. So, uh, if the rider support call is too quiet, nothing you can do about it. Too bad. <laughs> and they can't, they can't turn up the volume remotely either. So, uh, and believe me, I've asked, but oh well. Uh. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think... Oh, here comes a fun, unprotected left. Um, I think the remote assistance person can tell it to, like, go here or ignore this or, you know. But they, they can't joystick it. But they can, they can tell it what to do, like, reverse and go this direction. And... Yeah. Here we go. This is going to be... This might actually be a protected left turn because of how close we are by, up to the intersection. So, let's see. Yeah, this will be protected. So, oh well. But um, Yeah, if somebody connects to the car, are you able to hang up the call? Uh, I cannot. No, they, they have to... Yeah, they have to hang it up. I And the, the, uh, the standard procedure, as far as I can tell, is... Um, uh, you'll talk to, about, talk to them about whatever you want to talk to them about, or sometimes they'll just call you randomly and ask if everything's okay. Uh, and then they'll say, is there anything else I can help you with? And then he's like, no, that's okay. Uh, and then, then they'll hang up on their end, yeah. Hey, Ian. No, yeah, keep doing what you're doing. I think that's hilarious that somebody set up the, the playlist to be connected to to Feedly. That's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, that's great. Oh yeah, Abby, I could, uh, I could do that. I, I think they're contractors though. So. I, that, no, yeah, keep asking questions. No problem. Yeah, just, yeah, keep your questions coming. That's the whole point of this. You got, you got seven minutes. crack a -lockin'. <laughs> A little bit, of, okay, so it wants to right lane change. It's slowed down a little bit. Not too much though. It, so in, yeah, in the, in the cars with the safety drivers, it'll say right lane change or left lane change, like out loud. It doesn't do that anymore. It's really silent about, I, yeah, I, I kind of like that they, oh my gosh. <laughs> I kind of like that they uh, turn off the, the turn signals, but, uh, or the turn, the turn signal audio, not the actual turn signals. But it's also a little bit weird now because they, you know, oh, another emergency vehicle? Where? Where is it? What the? I can barely hear it. Uh, well, I am crazy today. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Benjamin, for the $10. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, you, you guys are helping out a lot. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm a certified streamer here. Uh, hey, Ruth. Uh, great job, you guys. I really love these. I, I love these cars. And I love making these videos. So thank you, guys. Uh, a scenario. So uh, you might see in my recent videos that um, here comes another right lane change. Uh, let's see. I, I'm trying to throw stuff at it. I, like, I'm trying to make it three-point turn. I'm trying to, you know, uh, just get it stuck with cones or something. But every time I do, it either, it either like, backs its way out of the thing or, like, whatever. I've never had the right, the uh, roadside assistance team uh, actually have to do something. So I, I'd say, in my experience, the, probably the worst is rain. Because if you go in my... There's a playlist where I... Uh, Oh, yeah, absolutely, Benjamin. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks again, man. That's that's generous. Um, 
yeah, uh, there's a video in my playlist where it, it disengages due to the rain, and it said uh, resolve computer issue weather. And so I don't. I, when I was looking at the lidar point cloud, and I was looking at the like on the screen, it was still tracking vehicles. It was still it was still doing everything right. Uh, so I don't know what the problem with the rain was, but yeah, they, the safety driver had to take over. Um, thank you, Kevin, for the for the five here. I, I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, my phone is getting a little hot, so I'm gonna have to turn up the AC here. Um, so while I'm here, I guess you can see the the buttons up here. You know, unlock self-explanatory uh, pull over I think writer support will call in if I do that uh, so you can see it, it slows down for these bumps here that's a nice little yeah <laughs> luckily we're almost here anyway Yeah, thanks, Ruth. Yeah, that'll that video will come out in two days. It's in the playlist right now called JJ Ricks Rides with Waymo. Uh, but yeah, so thirty concurrent viewers. Thanks, guys. All right. Still no roadside assistance team. I think since ever since I published that video with the roadside assistance team, they've been keeping far, far away. Or, or something. I, I don't know. I, it probably has nothing to do with it. They, I don't think they care, honestly. But, uh, yeah, oh well. <laughs> oh, yeah, and if you guys are wondering where... I, in my intro, the little, little uh, intro uh, to the videos, I got the Waymo start ride sound from a, from a podcast. It was in it was in a podcast about the sound design of the car, and so I I kind of ripped it from that podcast. And then my friend, who's good at sound design, uh, added a little bit of a reverb after it, so it would work. That was fun. Arriving shortly at bottom right, fully driverless. Please keep your seatbelt fastened until we reach your destination. And yeah, see, that announcement was a little bit quiet until they had the music system back. Nothing I can do about it. Uh, let's see. Uh, honestly, I... Well, really... Really aggressive left turn there. Um, I think, I think yeah, they can complain a little bit. I mean, it's being safe, and it's doing what it knows it's safe, so I don't... I, don't, I think a little bit of inconvenience is fine. I honestly... Um, use the LED screen up front. Uh, yeah, so far it just displays the Waymo logo. And as for FSD beta, uh, I have not had enough experience in and around uh, Tesla vehicles running the FSD beta to say conclusively what I, what I think about it. So, yeah, I, I'm gonna let you guys draw your own conclusions there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, 2,000 bricks. Yeah, that crazy concept. Oh, yeah. I mean, all cars have a little bit of a face to them anyway. Oh, hey. Thank you. Yeah, 30 minute ride. The the, the replay will show up on YouTube here in a couple minutes. All right. Here we go. So I'm gonna, as, as you do, uh, I'm gonna wipe down the vehicle so they don't have to cut out of the fleet again keep the availability up for everybody oh Ruth if you're still here do you know what that sound is in the back it's like a little I don't know if you can hear it but uh it's kind of like a whiny motor sound sounds like it's coming from the computer oh uh I think I'm at Oh, okay, no worries about that. So this is the... Yeah, it sounds like it's coming from back here. Yeah, thanks, Claudia. Alright, so here, here's the three-point turn spot, by the way.
just gonna casually oh yep yep now i'm gonna back up oh yeah are you gonna go yep <laughs> that's, that's so surreal man it's great there we go all right thanks for tuning in guys hope you enjoyed thank you to um thank you to benjamin and to kevin super chats you guys are great and all right that's all see you later <laughs>